Magandang araw po ulit and welcome to another video. And this video, if you feature natin, is the ASRAP B550M Steel Legend na motherboard. So this is just a uh, first impression and magkakaroon tayo ng round through kung ano ni mga um, capabilities and features of this uh, motherboard right after we um, remove it from the box. Okay, so to begin with, uh, punin po natin, this is, ito po yung pinaka-itsura ng ating ASRAF uh, motherboard. So, the size is uh, micro uh, ATX. So, this is B550M Steel Legend Series. So, this is how it looks like po um, in actual. So, we have here yung typical na heat sinks from the rear panel and sa kanyang um, top left panel. And as you can see here, yung kanyang heat sink as well from the chipset, it extends papunta ron sa ating M.2 slot. Okay, so yan yung mga um, heat sinks na capability or features na tong um, motherboard na ito. So, um, aside from those, ano, aside from those heat sinks, so as you can see here, it still comes with the AM4 socket and then it also has a 4 slot na memories. Okay, so if you wanted to um, utilize, kung meron, oh, apat, na six na, apat na sticks na memories, so this motherboard uh, it can still fit in though with uh, with this motherboard. So um, on the top part as well. So we also have here yung kanyang additional or aside dun sa common na uh, um, two by four pins para sa power supply or para dun sa processor. It also comes with an extended or yung additional na four um, pin na power connector. No, if in case that you wanted to overclock, so. Um, not all motherboards has this ano, this feature, pero it's a good thing na si ASRAC, um, even though this is a 550M, kineri pa rin nila yung, ano, yung um, ganun, ganun na feature. Okay? So, um, what else? So, um, yung mga <coughs> connectors. So, we have here on the top part then, no, um, dalawang, ano, dalawang PWM fan. So, one for the CPU and then if you have an optional fan, for the CPU, so we that's covered here. And then we also have a um, um, RGB, okay. And aside from the RGB, the R, uh, sorry, aside from the RGB, meron din dito addressable na RGB. If you wanted to customize or gusto mo pailawen yung inyong motherboard, so meron na dalawa rito, isang RGB at isang ARGB. And in this part, nandito yung socket para sa ating um, power supply to power up yung motherboard components. And then we also have here yung front panel na um, USB 3. Okay? And then we also have two SATA connectors here. And then aside from two SATA connectors, merong um, apat na SATA connectors na naka-separate um, uh, yung, ano, yung, yung kanya arrangement from, ano, from that part. Okay? And then um, going to the back, or dun sa down part ng ating motherboard, so we have here yung... Um, pins or yung, yeah, yung connectors para dun sa front na switch ng ating um, case. Then we also have here yung USB 3 na, um, ano to, na, na connectors and then another fan, another chassis fan for configuration and then um, USB, USB headers and then dalawa na namang fan connectors. Okay, and then another ARGB and RGB lighting options. And then, andito naman yung ating um, audio para dun sa ating front um, panel na audio output or audio slots. Okay, then we have here yung um, sa right, uh, sa left side is yung audio panel and we have here yung five na gold capacitors which is powering up yung um, kanyang um, audio system. Okay, so... And then on the rear part, okay, so we, uh, ito yung kanya mga interface connectivity options. So we have the clear CMOS options if you wanted to have a quick access to reset yung ating CMOS. And we have here yung HDMI and DPA port if in case that you wanted to go for an APU build just like yung gagawin natin na build for this motherboard since we don't have an extended video card. And we also have here the PS2 slots. Wow, no, nice. <laughs> Um, although madalang nalang yung gumagamit ng PS2 slots ngayon, but still, ASRA still um, decided na to maintain pa rin yung port na yun up until this um, generation. 
So it's a combo piece, Jack. You can put either a mouse or a, key or a keyboard. But if in case there's also a USB um, 2.0 na slots dito to um, in replacement no para sa inyong um, motherboard and uh, sorry for your keyboard and for your mouse options. Then another USB 3.2 version, isang type A at isang type C dun sa rear. Then we also have here tatlong USB 3, 3.0 na um, interface. No? And then we also have here the LAN port which is capable to deliver 2.5 gigabit. Okay, and then um, sa kanyang audio panel naman is we have here yung um, fiber optics. It supports the fiber optics and we also uh, this can also support 5.1 up to 7.1 one configurations as you can see dun sa kanyang mga audio jack outputs okay and then um may nakaabang dito for wifi antenna if in case that you wanted to equip your motherboard with an m.2 wifi key so dito ito po yung um, abang niya or yung placement para dun sa ating um, wifi antenna na um nakasama no if you wanted to extend yung wifi capability niya so uh huh then, um, dun sa, balik tayo dito sa um, center part ng ating motherboard. So, meron din tayo rito ng um, pump, AIO pump header. Or, this is also a chassis fan din pala. So, this is still a chassis fan. Okay. And then, um, yung kanyang PCIe4 um, slot which is reinforced with a steel. No, para dun sa ating, uh, to support din yung um, weight or yung naglalaki ang graphics card if in case na magsasalpak tayo dyan. And then, um, ito nga yung kanyang M.2 and then yung chipset. And then from here, meron isang PCIe ulit and then another PCIe na 3.0. And then from here, if you will notice dun sa pagitan, meron tayong M.2 Wi-Fi key. So, ito yung um, isa sa mga magandang functionality rin na ni um, ASRock kasi may mga motherboards na um, Wi-Fi capable at saka meron mga non-Wi-Fi capable. So with ASRock, you have the option if you want to buy this one. So by default, wala siyang Wi-Fi but if you wanted to enable yung kanyang Wi-Fi capability, bibilang mo na lang siya ng separate na M.2 Wi-Fi key. So meron po siyang provision para dito sa part na ito. And then, on the um, lower right part is yung another provision for M.2 slots if you wanted to increase or expand yung inyong um, storage, right? So, ito yung basically um, initial or, or first, um, first at, the, at the first glance na capability or features nitong uh, motherboard nito. Alright, then for the features na nag-stand out for me as a um, PC user is yung kanyang rear slot. So kung mapapansin nyo po rito, this motherboard is equipped with an good amounts of USB ports. No? So kung ikaw yung user na marami kang USB devices na need mong i-plug sa inyong PC or um, to access any, um, from time to time na ginagamit mo yung PC mo. So, this motherboard has an 8 USB slot dun sa kanyang rear panel pa lang. No? Hindi pa kasama yung mga headers na pwede mong i-equip dun sa, um, sa inyong uh, case, no? sa inyong PC case. So, no need to buy for a USB port or USB hub, not to, just to extend lang no, kapag yung ibang motherboards kasi na merong limited number of USB slots so kailangan mong bumili ng port para lang ma-accommodate mo yung ibang USB devices mo. But for this one um, it already has a good number of USB ports. And then another thing na nag-stand out sa akin for um, this board is yung kanyang price. No, so far dun sa mga kino-compare ko na B550 na motherboards because yun yung kino-consider ko na range or na model yung B550. So, so far, itong ASRAC uh, B550M Steel Legend is yung um, pinaka-cheapest. No? Pasok na pasok dun sa ating budget. Na at the same time, it can still deliver kung ano-ano yung um, power or kung ano yung capability na meron sa iba. So, mukhang, ano, mukhang kaya na rin naman na i-deliver nito. So, for me, value for money, this is good. Okay, although hindi natin alam kung ano yung durability nito, but malalaman natin as we use it along the way, 
ako. So, siguro magkakaroon na lang din tayo ng long-term review kung ano man yung magiging performance or how this motherboard works for my PC build. So, I think that's it for the run-through ng no physical attributes ng no ating motherboard. And I hope meron akong bagong information na na-share sa inyo if you're interested to buy this ASRAC Steel Legend na motherboard. So, maraming maraming salamat po for tuning in. Thank you and God bless. Thank you.